Hi guys and welcome to my channel. I'm the book geek also known as Kiava and today I'm going to bring you my Halloween book haul. Hey guys, Editing Kiki here. I know this video is way past due but I have a bunch of backlogged videos that I had already recorded and some of which I had already started editing, so I do want to still put those videos out. Feel free to go ahead and watch it anyways, and I hope you enjoy. I'm having a bad hair day, so please don't pay that no mind. Let's get into the books. <laughs> so the first book I wanna show you guys is actually a graphic novel, and that is The Waking, Dreams in this is volume two. I actually read volume one, I wanna say last year, and um, I really, really loved it. So it's been a while since I read it, but if I'm remembering correctly, um, people are coming back from the dead and they're seeking vengeance on the people who hurt them while they were alive. Um, no, don't know what's gonna happen in part two. I can't remember how part one ended but I'm pretty sure it ended on like a cliffhanger, which most continuing graphic novels do so that you can pick up the next volume. But um, yeah, I have to find out if there are more volumes to go with this one. I have never heard anyone talk about this before, but I really enjoyed it. And so when I seen this in Ollie's, my local Ollie's, I had to have it. Um, it was only $3. The next books I'm going to show you are also graphic novels. I um, have always wanted to get my hands on the physical copies of these graphic novels. I read the first two online and um, finally I was able to purchase the physical copies of these. So I bought all four graphic novels. Um, I'm going to read them over from the beginning, but that is Harriet Tubman demon slayer <laughs> i love these i love these so much so this is the first oh my god i don't know if these are volumes or issues i, I think these are issues i don't know this is the first one <laughs> this is the second one this is the third one and this is the fourth one. I haven't read the last two yet, but like I said, I'm gonna read it all over from the beginning. But I was so happy to finally have the physical copies of these. And if you don't know, this story is about Harriet Tubman. Of course, she's freeing slaves in this graphic novel, but the white people who are after them, the slave owners and the racists, they are depicted as actual creatures, demons and um, vampires and actual creatures that she have to fight as she's trying to get these people to safety. This is incredible, incredible. It is short, but it packs a mighty punch and I cannot wait to reread it and also read the last two issues. Woo! If you saw my impromptu vlog, you saw when I had purchased this book and that is Clown in a Cornfield. This is the story of a murderous clown just going crazy in this town on people. The last book I'm going to show you is a hefty one and that is The Stand by Stephen King. And there is a TV show that is coming based on this book, which they not right for doing that. Of course, marketing wise, business wise, it's brilliant to put the stand out during the time of an actual real life pandemic. But morally, they're not fucking right for putting this TV show out at this time. I'm just saying, even though I wanna watch it anyway, because you know, of the sensitive topic and because of how relatable it is to what we are going through right now in real life. So trigger warning, the stand is a book about a deadly pandemic that wipes out most of the population. This copy is so pretty. I just had to have it in my collection. If you don't know, I'm a huge Stephen King fan. Absolutely adore his, um, his work. And um, 
I just, I couldn't resist. I had to have this one. That is it guys. That is my quick mini Halloween book haul. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. Let me know down in the comment section if you read any of these books um, and what you thought of them without giving me spoilers, please. And um, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Ooh.